That is one happy family of bait molds right there. Here we go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm your host, Chris Jones. Thanks for being here today. We have an awesome video. The new G6 mold is here. We're gonna be looking at some angling AI uh, apparel. They've launched a new apparel line, but first let me show you the most exciting thing about today's video. That's right, baby, no laundry noise. All right, so you heard it there. The G6 mold is here. So now we have a beautiful, beautiful family of the G-Series swim bait molds. And the other day, I was actually sitting to myself going, I wonder what the G stands for. I don't think Josh ever told me. Like, is it, does it stand for good? Does it stand for gangster? Does it stand for, I have no idea. Let me know in the comments down below what you think the G in the G-Series swim bait mold stands for. Um, I'm really curious if it stands for anything, but regardless, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. I've got a really exciting color build that I wanna show you guys to demonstrate the mold. We're obviously going to get swim footage as well. Uh, I'm really excited. Hopefully I can use my new GoPro and, and try to help get some better swim footage. You know, the GoPro can be submerged. Um, so we're gonna see what we, can, we, what we can do and what we have time for in terms of swim, swim footage. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the mold. I'll show you the listing for the mold as well if you want to pick one of these up. And we'll do sort of a compare and contrast, of course, with the other G-Series swim bait molds. Okay, there it is. Hot off the press, or shall I say hot off the CNC milling machine. There it is, the G6. And um, because the mold is a, a bigger size, we, are, we have now moved up to an 8 millimeter eyeball. So all of you uh, swim bait pouring enthusiasts like me, um, you probably have eight millimeter eyes. So rest assured, uh, you now have a new mold to, uh, to put those eyes on. So um, all the same scaling detail that we love, of course, um, including that ridge around the eyeball socket. Excellent details up there in the head. And uh, you know, everything's just a little bit deeper and larger, so. I am really excited. There's uh, there's a lot of room for activities, right? Um, to to take a a, a quote from uh, what is it, Step Brothers? So here's the G5. Okay. So as we can see there, yep. You can see a good a good size comparison. All right, and then last but not least, one of my best selling baits now, the G4. And so looking at the inverse side here, this is the same exact hook slot insert as the original AI six inch open pour mold. So you'll, uh, you'll probably recognize these two holes. They fit right there, okay? So everything is, is nice and secure in place. It's got the notch to allow for a little bit more meat in the head for different types of rigging. And of course, this one also does come with a delete um, insert if you want to pour the solid body for jig head rigging or more, um, you know, maybe some line through options, you know, you can really get creative. You can also pour this mold solid body without the slot insert. Um, one thing, one thing about the slot insert, you can see where it's um, lined up with the eyeball socket. That kind of gives me a good guide on how high to pour my belly because it's right smack dab in line with the middle of that eyeball insert just to demonstrate there. Look at that. All right, everybody, so be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where we are going to demonstrate and talk about some of the new Angling AI uh, apparel, okay? So this is beyond just your normal merchandise. Um, this is apparel, including some really, really high-end uh, performance fishing gear from Sims, AFCO, like my AFCO Reaper hoodie. Um, when it was cold here, I didn't take it off for like five straight days. That thing saved my butt out here, freezing in my shop. Um, Carhartt beanies, um, you know, I mean, the hats are awesome. This one's incredible. Um, you know, there's there's uh, women's apparel. So anyway, we're gonna take a look at that at the end of the video. So be sure and stick around because this stuff is awesome. All right, here we go. AI G6 open pour mold. There she is. All right, so here's the listing. There's your price on it. Obviously a um, sort of a product description there, eight millimeter eyes. And uh, yes, you can see it does have the hook slot delete, which will create the solid body. Yep. And of course it comes with the uh, 
hook slot insert as well. So heck yeah, I'm excited. This one's brand new, so there's really, uh, yeah, there's, there's no rating on it yet. So um, in any event, we are going to go ahead and get into the demonstration of the mold. All right, and like a lot of my shad colors, uh, I do like to place a kill dot. And uh, although we've shown this a million times on this channel and you're probably all sick and tired of seeing it, I still get questions almost every week. How did you put the dot on? All right, I just pour it on. Sorry, that was maybe a little bit zoomed out. All right. And one thing that I'll say real quick about the, about the shad dot, kill dot as it's sometimes called, I like it to be in line with the eyeball insert, okay? Because I want my vein to run through it. And we'll show you the one on the inverse side of the mold. Nice and slow. Ah, see, a, a little too big. I'm, I'm not, not quite used to, to dotting this one yet. I don't know. I, I actually kind of like that. So, in any event, that's what we're going to go with. All right, so we are pouring this one in tube blend plastic, okay, since this is a little bit bigger bait. So we need a, uh, a more firm plastic. Let's see. Yep, so the belly color on this one is the easy part, like most, white pearl. But we don't want to oversaturate the white pearl, especially because this is a bigger bait. It's got a thicker body. You actually need less pigment to, to color it and still maintain good light refraction, um, and sort of a, a natural translucency to it. You know, if you take a shad in the wild, or really even any small forage fish, you know, you hold it up to the sunlight, it's basically see-through. We want to try to mimic some of that play on color. Yeah, there it is. We are ready for action. Got our spit boiling, let's go. All right, so if we look closely, uh, you'll see that the hook slot insert actually runs all the way up under that head section. So instead of trying to pour the belly evenly on either side of that slot insert, we're actually gonna pour it from the back of the slot insert. Okay, so the slot insert ends there. So we're actually gonna start this belly pour right here in the back. And we're gonna bring it up a little bit to make sure that it gets down into the anal fin. Bring it up the tail. But then we're actually gonna do the rest of the pour from right there. So a little unorthodox, but to me, that will give me the best result in filling up my belly color. See if I can get that to focus. I want it to, well, sorry guys, I'm trying to watch the camera and do what I'm doing. Well, anyway, we're just gonna keep pouring it. Oh, sorry. Trying to make sure that y'all can see what's going on here. All right, so we're going to stop it there. Oh, that was awful footage. We're going to have to figure out a way for y'all to see that better. So as you can see, that belly color is running right kind of through the bottom of that kill dot, and that's exactly where we want it. So we poured it to just under the top of that slot insert. Let's see if I can get a better angle on the other mold. Okay, let's try this. And... uh Ah, see, it's wanting to do that. All right, maybe we just hold the cup really high up and just hope for the best here. Yeah. Going to bring it up a little bit. All right, then back down and just let it go from there. All right, this is a little bit better. Okay, we can see that that plastic's running down into the head. And because we have our molds up to proper temperature, that, uh, that, that line, I guess, that belly color is going to even out nice and flat there in the bottom. Oops. One little boo-boo there, but I think we'll be okay. All right. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we have some uh, gold mica powder in there, and this is just plain Jane gold. We're going to stir... A lot of bubbles into it so we'll do the vacuum pot afterwards but uh, this is just regular gold nothing too fancy no uh, no expensive color shifts hyper shifts or hollow shifts or anything like that okay just plain Jane gold and then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to add some color to it okay so we're actually gonna add a drop of yellow 
Oh, okay, two drops of yellow this time. <laughs> Whoops. All right, and then we're gonna add some white, which will thicken it and lighten it up. Because often what I like to do is I like to take a powder base and maybe add a drop of brown to dull it or a drop of black to bring out a certain effect. But this one, we're actually gonna be adding like I would, what I would say real color to it. So it's not purely just a, uh, a pearl effect, all right? All right, let's try and pour a vein cleanly for you guys. Here we go. My first time pouring this mold, so I'm not quite sure when to stop my vein. But we're gonna stop it there and sort of uh, see how far the temperature takes it up there into the head because we want to stop it right at the eyeball socket which is actually up under there so we got to kind of look in at an angle and see uh, see what our plastics doing but that's looking really good I really like the color yeah okay both veins did really really well this one I may have poured the yellow a little bit too far down into the tail it didn't go all the way down into like the tail tail but it went a little bit past my uh, belly color which I never try to do um, so this one back here could have been a little bit better um, front vein perfect could not have done could not have poured it better so uh, I'm really looking forward to how these turn out all right so now for the top color the secret sauce is an old colorant that I got maybe 10 years ago cotton candy I've had this a long time this is just a lure works cotton candy so we're gonna start with just a few drops there whoops all right Start with a few drops there, and that's sort of the base, okay? It's sort of like a pink brown. I, I see, I always see a smidge of pink in the cotton candy. So maybe a couple more drops. All right. And we're gonna add one drop of black, which will just kind of richen it a little bit. <clears throat> and then blue highlight to make it blue. All right, it'll have that blue highlight sheen about it. All right, so let's get going here. And uh, to me, it just has a really nice, rich body color while also giving you blue, um, sort of like, it's, it's, it's sort of like an off sexy shad, if I, I guess if I had to describe it. But yeah, really beautiful there. I almost want to get it also want to get it a little bit darker maybe like I said it's been a long time folks but yeah look at that that's pretty isn't it it's uh, it's not it's not your normal shad color let's do another drop of black and maybe a little bit more blue highlight what's great about highlights is you can add a lot of it and it doesn't opaque your color it just adds that blue highlight effect so you can still get a strong blue without without uh, without making it too thick, right? You're still gonna be able to get that translucency. Yeah. So anyway, that is sort of the color build. I doubt I'm gonna change anything else now off camera, but uh, that is essentially what we're going for. Look at that. All right. Let's fill this one up. Here we go. Bring it on back to the tail. We're gonna pour it just like the G5. Fill up that tail section there, and bring it forward. Then just let that head section just fill itself in. I know my uh, hand being there is sort of causing a, sort of a, um, whatchamacallit, a shadow. Yeah, heck yeah. There we go. Nice. Cleanly filled out there. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Let's reveal it here. And zoom out just a smidge. And let's do a drum roll, please. Start slow. Work up the tempo. Dun, 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 dun. 
try and see if it'll break loose clean. I think it did. Ah, oh, wow. You know you're living right when the bait comes off clean. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, let's zoom in. Ooh, pretty. Isn't that nice? It's something different, you know? It's uh, not reinventing the wheel, but if we look in the tail section, you can really see that color back there. Um, you know, you, you can see that cotton candy kind of pinkish brown going on with the blue highlight. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And um, we were correct. The way that we poured our bellies, perfect. That vein is just perfect in line with up in that hook slot insert. Look at that, or excuse me, in the eyeball socket. Absolutely perfect. We got good vein control and the belly is poured to the correct height. You can see the vein goes right through the right through the shad dot. Everything is looking as as I want it to. Um, amazing. Amazing. Could not have asked for a better first pour in the G6. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll get out the other one and see if it can match that one. All right, let's see if we're as lucky with the second one, if we can work it off uh, as clean. Well, we're not off to a great start, it feels like. Feels like it's catching up there in the head. Let's see. Oh, hey, actually we did get lucky. It just came out on the other side. Heck yeah. You can actually see a little boo-boo there when we accidentally poured a little bit of that white pearl belly and it got on the edges. That's what happens. You see a little, little um, boo-boo there. All right, so here we have one out of the mold and uh, you can see how it sits on the uh, hook slot insert there. So looking good. So we'll go ahead and take this out just to kind of show you this part of the process. You can set that back in the mold. And look at that. All right, now we'll show you the last part. Let's throw on an eyeball here. And there it is, Loctite Super Gel. That is the eyeball glue that we all use, okay? Let's point the, uh, yeah, we want the pupil pointing straight forward. At least that's how I like to do it. All right, there we go. There it is finished product okay there we go finished product two g6s hanging out all right now let's try and get jiggy with it the other day I poured up some worms and these are not your grandfather's culprit worms okay these are like foil inlay sort of orange throat bluegill pattern worms all right so we'll just get up close and personal with them Let's see if we can recreate this sort of effect in the G6. Don't you absolutely hate it when UPS brings you two new buckets of denon plastics while you're trying to film your bait videos? I mean, what, what a terrible interruption. Who do these people think that they are up there in Michigan? All right, so we're gonna have to just kinda breeze through the steps of this. If I showed you the whole thing, we'd be here all day. Um, but essentially we have a clear capsule down with some of that small black flake, okay? So if we look at our target here, target worm, see how we have some just little black flake just kind of all throughout it, right? So we're gonna achieve that by putting it on the outside, okay, these capsules. And then we're putting fairly large chunks of gold flake, uh, well, well not flake, but gold leafing down, okay? And if we look sort of at our target example, most of the gold foiling is up there in the head. All right, so I'm only gonna do about the first half of, of the mold cavity. Okay, so we've got our orange splotched down, um, which what's really cool is the areas where the orange is makes that foil look orange. You can see the foil looks both um, gold and orange, and that's just wherever that orange is playing on it, which really, really, really neat. So hopefully we'll be able to sort of capture that same effect. All right, now we've just kind of splodged in some black here and there, all right? We're just taking black and we're just kind of getting it at a real low temperature and splotch, 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 splotch. We're just tapping it. 
and uh, you know the idea being to really try to make the colors look sort of just blended almost like they've been up in a blender similar to the uh, target there so now for our green pumpkin layer all right so now we've got everything uh, laid in and my green pumpkin on this one was a little too green see how the other one just looked a little bit more brown that's more brown than green so I kind of missed on that um, but other than that I think we're gonna have a really good swim bait counterpart to these worms not bad not bad so one thing that I would do differently is I would actually probably put down the orange first and then put my leafing down that way there's a little bit more orange in front of the leaf to make some of the leafing more orange if that makes sense so if we look at the worms you'll see that um, there's just more of that orange playing on the foil here you know we got some orange right here and a couple other areas where it kind of mixed into that foil um, but yeah look at that yeah so we'll look at the worms then we'll look at the swim bait and uh, got a really really cool eye there that's uh, an eye that Matt over at Dead Meat made uh, in 8 millimeter. so yeah yeah there it is yep kind of cool so just kind of you know the I guess the point of this exercise was to say okay let's say that you've done a bait in a craw or a worm or um, you know an open pore jerk bait or something you know how can you manifest that into a swim bait mold particularly the g6 or any of the g series molds you know that was sort of just an exercise to show okay here's how i would approach doing this worm which was poured completely different because it's a different it's a different mold configuration right i'm taking a thin worm cavity okay and now i'm trying to do it into a mold that has two halves that splits apart that is just wildly different and uh you know so that's sort of the whole uh, I guess point of this part of the video well my dad just missed one on a snake worm yeah yeah y'all yeah. recognize that reaper hoodie right there <laughs> I told you the apparel was good so as y'all can see this uh, this hook is e this hook is even a little small so I would say it would comfortably fit a 10 and Josh was saying he threw a 12 on there and it worked so but if seven's all you can find that actually fits really well the the weight kind of sits really nicely there in the slot. And uh, yeah, that, that right there swam like a beast. There it goes. All right, guys, so it kind of got cold again today, um, which gives me an opportunity to wear this. So um, this item right here has been just absolutely awesome. This is the APCO uh, Reaper sweatshirt. Um, I just call it the Reaper hoodie uh, because, and you'll have to mind my hat hair, it's obviously a hoodie, right? And it also has, you know, that built-in mask, you know, keep your face warm. Just an awesome, awesome thing. Um, so what's what's really great about this about this apparel is that it's not just merchandise it's actually apparel that you will use as an outdoorsman as an angler I mean there's everything from you know this there's you know more regular hoodies for you know the person on a budget you know the AFCO stuff's pretty uh, pretty high-end I mean there's like Carhartt beanies uh, performance gear um, let's just look at a few of them uh, so this one is, is the unstructured hat this is the one that I've really, really taken a liking to. Now, I haven't actually worn every other hat that I have. Um, I just wanted to keep them in their, like, new, uh, I, I guess they're looking new, how they would come to you, right? So a couple more options here. And, you know, bear in mind with me, guys, I'm not used to, uh, you know, going through clothes here on this channel. I'm a, I'm a bait maker at heart. But, um, yeah, my wife has already claimed some of the women's stuff. Uh, so moving on to that. Yeah, this right here, absolutely great. I love the back 
they did such a good job kind of outlining the logo in pink you know i'm always used to seeing it in that green but the women's logo in pink absolutely looks great um, another thing that came that really stood out to me were the quality of these stickers they are uh let's see if i can get the camera to focus they're like really thick quality um perfect for the boat these are definitely so my my bass boat being a nitro it, it um well, I guess this could go for any bass boat, but uh, mine, mine's a, a, a dual console, right? So I have two windows on, on either side. So these are gonna be front and center on, on the Nitro. Uh, can't wait to put these on, actually. Just my, my boat's been on the cover um, the whole time, and I just haven't taken the cover off to, to, to mess with these. And I wanted to show them to you guys. Absolutely amazing quality there on the stickers. Let's see what else we have. We have a couple things that are unpackaged, right? So just some sort of fishing tees right here, right? So this is how you would you would receive it packaged. Um, my dad actually liked the Reaper hoodies so much that the first time he saw me wear it, he bought one that day. All right, well, it is very windy, so hopefully my uh, windscreen here on the microphone is working. But uh, hey, you know, this is where we filmed the G5 test footage, and uh, we caught a nice bass on the G5. Um, so I was I was actually kind of expecting to get a hit here on the G6. We had a like I said, wearing the uh, hoodie. We had a pretty pretty good cold snap come in last night. All the bait that's normally up here on the banks are gone. So I'm thinking they're a little shut down. But man, what awesome swim footage! You know, Josh and I were talking, and uh, this six incher, you know, the G6, everything. It just seems like just the best version of the G series yet. Um, so I'm really excited to see what's uh, going on there in the future. You know, if we get a G7 or a G, who knows, sky's the limit, right? But uh, anyway, awesome, awesome, uh, beautiful day today here in North Florida. Great swim footage. I hope y'all really enjoyed the video. Um, definitely check out some of the AI apparel. Awesome stuff. I mean, you saw my dad was just wearing his. Can't say enough about that. But uh, in any event, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, what videos you would like to see next on the channel and let me know if you come up with a name for the shad color that we did the sort of the cotton candy shad I'm curious what your thoughts are on that um, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and start working on the <clears throat> edit for this video and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one